The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. It is autumn. A strong wind blows. It blows flower seeds high into the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? Look, do you guys see the tiny little seed? These are all big seeds. And look, there's our tiny little seed right there. Let's see what happens to him. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Oh, one of the big seeds got burnt by the sun, but look, there's our tiny little seed right there, still keeping up with the others. Another seed lands on a tall, icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Look, that seed got frozen in the mountain, and here's our tiny little seed, still keeping up with all of his other seeds. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on in the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. Look, here are our bigger seeds. Do you see the tiny seed? Do, 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 do. Oh, there he is. He's still keeping up. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. So this seed fell down into the desert, but it's so hot and dry it can't grow because it needs water. But where's our tiny seed? Oh. There he is. He's still keeping up. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small the bird doesn't even see it. Look, here's the bird eating a seed. And there's our tiny little seed right there. It's so tiny the bird can't even see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Here's the mouse and look, this is the snow and the snow falling and the seeds are underground now, but there's our tiny little seed he is still trekking on. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down to, into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants. And that little plant dies. Oh man, look, this big weed has hurt this little tiny plant. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late, hurry. But finally, it starts to grow into a new plant. Where's our tiny little seed? Oh, there he is. You see him right here? And he's growing a tiny little plant. And when plants grow, they grow towards the sun. Did you know that? That's pretty cool. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. Oh man, he stepped on the plant and now he broke it. But look, our tiny plant is still going strong. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing so fast but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? 
first there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them, then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. Oh my goodness, someone came and picked that flower. But look, there's our tiny little seed still going strong. A boy has picked a flower to give to a friend. Isn't that sweet? But now that plant can't grow anymore. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. <gasps> wow, remember that tiny little seed in the beginning? Look what he grew into. Isn't that amazing? All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Look, he's made so many friends now. Birds and butterflies and bees. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down onto the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away from the wind. <gasps> the end. So look, look what happened. This big flower has a bunch of tiny little seeds, and guess what those seeds are going to do? They're gonna plant more giant flowers like this beautiful one that our tiny seed grew into. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful book by Eric Carle. He's written so many wonderful books and this has got to be one of my favorites. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.